Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a defeat to Maidstone in the nation itself. Adam, your thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, again, I thought come away from home. We've had a lot of the ball. We've created an excellent opportunity there with Danny Cashman in the first half. Um, and you end up 2 0 down at half time. One through a long ball, a flick on, and, and they get through, which you just simply can't legislate for. You can't, you know, there's, there's not. I look at myself and go, is it the shape that's leaving us exposed? But it's a long ball. We've got players back there and they're just switching off to uh, the flick on. Um, and then the second one's a goal kick. Joel comes out of his slot to try and win the header with someone that's six foot three. Gets flicked onto his man and then they get a corner and then Rocco's got his arms down by his side trying to claim he's been held back. Um, and just 2 0 down when you probably had more of the ball, created some good chances been brave, played with courage, um, but you know you can't keep legislating for these kind of errors. Um, in non-league football you've got to, got to be able to deal with a long ball and what the, the opposition throw at you. Um, I thought it was two different styles out there on the pitch, they were big, they were physical um, and ultimately you've got to be able to cope with that and we haven't today. Um, and like I say you're 2-0 down again from nowhere. Um, even second half with 10 men, I thought we created some great chances. Um, I think Cash has had a shot inside the area and uh, had a header first half and like Lucas has just yeah, had to break sweat to make a save. Um, and then going this way, Jake has a header and he's it's like tame. Um, and we get into good areas, I thought Greg got in behind there at the end and then like, you've got to get your head up and pick someone out and flashes it across and so yeah. Um, all in all, I think like box to box, again, like, brilliant. We're, we're a great team, probably, you know, up there as one of the best teams, but ultimately, you know, if you're gonna defend like that in your box and be as tame in that front of goal, which we've been saying for a while now, then it's gonna leave you with problems. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know, I much prefer not to be the best team in box to box, but win games of football, and that's what we've got to come up with a way to do that. It was odd because it, it felt like it was quite an open game early on. The goal almost came out of nothing really. There wasn't really many chances for them at all. It, it came out of, um, out of nowhere. No, exactly. This is yeah, exactly what I'm saying. You, you know, we've played our way, got, got control in the game. Um, but you lose the game 4-0. Obviously, a day's passionate and you can't let it boil over. You know, you've got to think about the team first before your frustrations and... Um, you lose a player and go down to 10 men and still probably in that period create the better chances. Um, and then, yeah, the fourth goal, we lose it in the center of the park and it's a couple of weak challenges. Get a 1v1, twist us inside out, which doesn't seem to happen down the other end. Not enough passion in our defending. Um, yeah, and you end up coming away again on the back of losing 4-0. Um, and we've got to find a way. Um, you know, maybe we haven't got the balance right in the team today in terms of you need a bit more physicality when you come to place like this. So again, like, I'll, I'll look at myself um, and obviously, you know, take the blame for not setting the team up properly um, and see how we can how we can improve and, and get better. Um, but yeah, we, we haven't got carried away when we've won games of football. Um, you know, I think there's, there's lots to be pleased with. Um, but ultimately, like, I'm a bit like yourselves probably, like, it looks like you get bullied at times. And, you know, you, you just can't, you can't have that in non-league football. Just touch on the day's red card there, a little bit of clarity on that. Was that for descent? Yeah, for descent. He's uh, said something to the referee. Was it two referee. yellows for descent? Two yellows for descent, I believe, yeah. So, yeah, exactly, it's not good enough, is it? Um, you know, I said about these moments when you know, you're going to get difficult moments and, and stuff like that. I thought like when the ball went under Joe Rice's foot last week, he sort of seemed to let it affect him. And, you know, today, like, you have bad moments and you've got to stick together. You've got to be together out on that pitch. And I don't know whether too many of us just maybe just go into our shell and play a little bit more like an individual rather than putting the team first. And, yeah, something to address and look at. But I say we, we won't get too despondent. Um, you know, we've got a big FA Cup game next week now to, to look forward to and, and the tension's got to turn to that. Um, but yeah, it's hard because you, you take the pickings out of the game and watch, watch the game back and 
there's probably going to be some good stuff there, but and some very basic um, goals that you conceded, um, which you, you just can't keep coming out here and, and defending. In the moment, obviously, feels not great after a defeat, but it is worth remembering we are still in a good position in the league. We are still one of the better sides in the league, you could argue. There is something to build on from today. Yeah, there is. You come to a good side away from home, um, and like I say, actually created some really good stuff. Um, they've kicked it long to a big striker, flicked it on, and got on the end of it. And you know, listen, there's no right or wrong way to play this game, um, but I just think you've got to be able to be able to deal with that. We've got to be able to deal with that, and uh, we haven't. And the first goal was was big today. Um, seemed to give them a bit of a lift. Um, but yeah, like I say, we'd, we'll keep looking at ourselves um, like we always do. And yeah, not not you, you can't underestimate this league, and we never do. We never underestimate the, the, the standard of the league, and we don't underestimate our opponents. Um, and it's it's. It's, it's, it's proved on a couple of occasions now. You can play and be comfortable, but you can be on the end of a, a heavy scoreline if you don't just concentrate throughout the game.